liquid ceramic, okay, and I'd put maybe 20 coats of liquid ceramic on it, and, and I'd build up a coating of about that thick, okay, and then they fire Close that at 2,000 degrees. And the wax, the wax melts out. Melts out. Oh, a name for and the that. ceramic, and the ceramic gets hard. Okay. No, the lost the wax. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And and so then they they have a ceramic mold now. Okay. And then they heat the uh, bronze to 2,000 degrees. And if you've ever seen them pour bronze. It's like a big bucket full of fire. Yeah. And they pour it's like, like lava. lava. So yeah. Pour like, it into this ceramic mold. Okay. Let that uh, cure and then chip away the ceramic and then you've got you've got a bronze piece. Okay. And the bronze is, is a shiny brass effect. Okay. <clears throat> to patina it then, they hit it with a, what do you call it, a blowtorch. Okay. In one hand and acid in the other. And depending on the acid, it will give it a different color depending huh. on the acid. So, so you spray acid on and you fire it with a blowtorch to get it to a... It's, it requires a certain touch. It's not a formula. You don't put yeah. it in at a certain temperature and then you spray a spoonful of this. It, it just has yeah. to be done by touch and by experience. six or seven um, and Carmel was the best one it was the Hanson Gallery and uh, on the main street in Carmel if you're familiar with Carmel I've been there in years okay, well, um, buyers from around the world come to Carmel late in the year to, to buy stuff and, and uh, so they did pretty well but Carmel <laughs> Had a lot of galleries, and they and they kept adding galleries mm. and galleries. And they had more than 150 galleries oh, in Carmel. Oh, and the Hanson Gallery went out of business. You know, they, for 10 years they did pretty well for me, but mm -hmm. then they they went bankrupt. Mm -hmm. And they <clears throat> probably along with a few others. Well, and the problem was originally. Our agreement was, if they sold a piece, they wouldn't take the piece off of the floor that was on display. Mm -hmm. um, I would send them a piece, or I'd send it to the person that made the purchase. Mm -hmm. And and um, after a while, I mean after 10 years, they weren't selling anything, or they weren't telling me that they had sold anything. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine went up to Carmel, and he said, you know, I talked to the sales lady, and she said, they just sold your piece two weeks ago, and, and but they hadn't told me. I found out they've been selling the stuff and then just giving it to the customer off the floor. Mm -hmm. And because they were short, up, short on money, and then they eventually went bankrupt, and they gave me three checks to cover the, the money they owed me, and but not to cash them all in the same week. They were dated. Anyway, the first one, the first one did, did cash, but then the next two didn't. So, now that's that's why I'm not going into galleries. I've been selling out of the stuff in galleries and, and not going back in. I'm going to wait till the economy turns around. And,